Hi, I'm Stephanie Schwab, Curriculum Supervisor for Mathematics. I'm here today to talk to you about the sixth grade math placement process. Our goal in the placement process is to ensure that all students are in the appropriate math class for success. The courses that we offer in seventh grade are Algebra 1, Math 7 Honors, Math 7, Math 7 Extended, and Math 7 Strategic. The Algebra 1 course that students would take in seventh grade is the same course no matter what grade level a student is in. Therefore, students in this course also must take the Algebra 1 Keystone exam at the end of the course. Students in the classes of 2017 and beyond must be proficient on the Keystone exam for Algebra 1 to graduate. The Math 7 Honors and Math 7 courses are pretty much the same courses except that the Math 7 will go to a greater depth and work to prepare students to take Algebra 1 as 8th graders. The Math 7 Extended is a course for students who need additional support and scaffolding with their math instruction and Math 7 Strategic is for students who need to take a course that provides them targeted and systematic instruction in math and help to close their gaps. The Math 7 Extended course also is offered for eight periods in a six-day cycle to provide the necessary scaffolding that students need to master the content, and the Math 7 Strategic will also be offered for eight periods in a six-day cycle. The course progression for students if they take Algebra 1 as a 7th grader then means they will take Geometry as an 8th grader, Algebra 2 as a 9th grader, Precalculus as a 10th grader, Calculus 1 as a junior, and Calculus 2 as a senior. Students who take Math 7 Honors typically then will take Algebra 1 as an 8th grader, Geometry as a 9th grader, Algebra 2 as a 10th grader, Precalculus as an 11th grader, and Calculus 1 as a 12th grader. Students who are in Math 7 will take Pre-Algebra in 8th grade, Algebra 1 in 9th grade, Geometry in 10th, Algebra 2 in 11th grade, and Pre-Calculus in 12th grade. Students who are in Math 7 Extended will then typically stay in Pre-Algebra Extended in 8th grade, Algebra 1 Extended in 9th grade, Geometry Extended in 10th, Algebra 2 Extended in 11th grade, and Algebra 3 slash Trigonometry in 12th grade. Our students who take Math 7 Strategic will follow the same progression with the strategic courses as well. They'll take Pre-Algebra Strategic in 8th grade. In 9th grade, they will take Algebra 1 Part 1, and in 10th grade, they will take Algebra 1 Part 2. They will then take a Geometry course in 11th grade and an Algebra 2 course in 12th grade. To be placed into these courses, there are different rubrics that we follow for the placement process. To be placed into Algebra 1, there are five criteria within the rubric. The child's average unit assessment scores for the first trimester and second trimester to date, their PSSA score from fifth grade, their Keystone Projection Probability score, their score on the orleans Hanna Algebra Prognostic and the orleans Hanna Geometry Prognostic. The Keystone Proficiency Projection Score is the probability that your child will be proficient on the Algebra 1 Keystone exam. When thinking about the Algebra Prognostic Test, it is a time test for students and it is to demonstrate if they are ready to take Algebra 1. The Geometry Prognostic is used to determine students' problem solving abilities. For placement into Math 7 Honors, we will be looking at the average of the unit assessments for the first marking period and second marking period to date. We will look at the PSSA fifth grade score. We will look at the Keystone Probability Projection score. And we will look at the Algebra Prognostic score. For placement into Math 7, Math 7 Extended, and Math 7 Strategic, we will be using three criteria. We will be using the fifth grade PSSA score, your child's growth rate as measured from the PVOS system, and your child's keystone projection probability. Their growth rate is determined whether your child is showing more than a year's worth of growth, which means they have an increasing growth rate, whether your child is doing one year's worth of growth in one year's time, which is a level growth rate, or if your child is having a decreasing growth rate, which means they have less than a year's worth of growth. There's also the possibility of having a mixed growth rate, meaning some years it's increasing, some years it's decreasing, and some years it is level. 
If you ever have any questions about the placement process, please contact your child's sixth grade teacher, the guidance counselor within your building, or you may contact myself, Stephanie Schwab, the math curriculum supervisor. Thank you.